Have you ever found yourself reminiscing about the countless laughs Adam Sandler brought us over the years? If you appreciate a blend of humor and heartfelt storytelling, consider subscribing uh, to our channel and hitting that like button for more engaging content and the branches beyond them and covering movie. Unfortunately, a different time later. The leaders love the 90s of the boys here in the stars. In some of them, maybe on a generation, from hilarious antics in Happy Gilmore to the touching moments in Big Daddy, Chandler's films became cherished memories for many. And Chandler has solidified his status as a comedy icon through a plethora of memorable characters and laughs that resonate with audiences even today. Now, beyond his charming performances, he's proven to be a talented screenwriter, crafting witty dialogues and amusing scenarios that showcase his comedic genius. His journey began in the comedy clubs and skyrocketed through the writing team of Saturday Night Live in the early 90s. With films like Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore, he not only entertained audiences, but also showcased his impressive storytelling abilities alongside Ten Herlifi. Sandler and his production company, Happy Madison Productions, have birthed numerous films, enabling a unique exploration of comedy. That's the individual. The furry production of comedy is a very tender opinion. In two season Y, we enjoy company, junior, class fields. This narrative takes us through a ranked exploration of Sandler's filmography, diving into various projects from initial commercial flops to beloved classics. The fine memories and nostalgia let's embark on this whimsical journey through Adam Sandler's cinematic endeavors. Starting with one of his earliest works, Going Overboard, we meet Shecky Moskowitz, a comedian struggling for recognition. Despite harsh reviews, Sandler's path to success was carved with persistence. Even with its shortcomings, the film eventually marked the beginning of his illustrious career. Uh, contrast that with Bucky Larson, Born to be a Star, a film that begs for understanding, yet often feels lacking. Uh, despite the ambitious concept of a small-town man finding love himself at Hollywood, the jokes sputter. Instead of hitting the mark, leaving viewers scratching their heads. And then there's Jack and Joe, who are saying there's dual roles as brother and sister take center stage. But while the intention was to create a comedic delight, it became a moment and for critics to pounce, making it one of his least favorable outings. Um, with The Ridiculous Six, we witnessed Sandler's attempt at blending comedy with the Western genre. Despite a star-studded cast, it floundered under poor reception, feeling more like a missed study opportunity than a celebration of classic Western tropes. As we move forward, A Day with the Meatball showcases his love for his canine companion, presenting a heartfelt yet humorous glimpse into his life beyond the silver screen. Similarly, Goldman vs. Silverman offers a brief yet poignant rivalry, capturing the essence of struggle and ambition in the art world. Hubie Halloween emerges as a charming Halloween anthem, aiming for laughs while encapsulating the spirit of the holiday. Its nostalgic whimsy might just make it a festive favorite among my fans, providing a light-hearted message of courage. By the time we reach the Waterboy and Billy Madison, it's clear it's Sandler mastered the art of blending humor with heart. Characters like Bobby Boucher and Billy Madison and offer laughter while tackling their personal journeys, resonating deeply with audiences and securing their places in comedy history. Happy Gilmore stands tall among the legends, encapsulating a unique blend of sports and humor that holds the test of time. With its iconic golf scenes, it's no wonder fans often look back fondly. And it paved the way for later sports comedies. Ultimately, Big Daddy solidifies Sandler's place as a master storyteller, effortlessly weaving humor with more profound themes of growth, responsibility, and love. It's a delightful adding that showcases his versatility as both a comedian and an actor.
And uh, before wrapping things up, you know, here's a thought. Why did Adam Sandler's character bring a ladder to the bar? Uh, because he heard the drinks were on the house. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.